Hi everyone, this is Ben Duncan with Tokyo Digital Crew and today I'm going to show you how to tighten up and tune up a bass DI track that might not be perfect. And I'm going to do this using Melodyne. Uh, Melodyne's an auto-tune plugin that also has quantization. And in my opinion, it's one of the best uh, cheaper options for auto-tuning or quantizing bass, guitar, vocals, etc. So here's a metal track that I recently recorded. I haven't played in a while and my bass isn't properly intonated, so uh, my timing's not perfect and the tuning is off. It's not really bad, but let's see if we can tighten it up a little bit and get it more in tune with the guitars. I'll start by playing a bit of the intro uh, so you can hear some of the tuning issues. Again, it's not too bad, but it's definitely flat, particularly in this last note here. I'll pull up a tuner here so we can check. So let's open a Melodyne and see if we can fix that a little bit. So here it is, uh, the timeline is up at the top and the scale's over on the side here. Up at the top uh, you have the individual note tools and then over off to the side here you have the macro note tools, which is what we'll mostly be using today. So first, since we're working with bass today, we're going to change the algorithm to melodic and then uh, press transfer and then hit play to transfer it into the program. There we have it. Now we can edit it. So to use macro tools, you just select the whole thing and then click on the uh, pitch or quantization up here, and you can change the entire thing. However, I'm going to be um, editing these longer parts uh, separately because the short ones sometimes require some uh, more fine tunes ed editing. In the macro pitch editing tool, you have pitch center, pitch drift, and a couple of um, check boxes. Uh, snap to E major, you can check that if you know the key of the song. Um, otherwise, it'll just snap it to the nearest chromatic note, which is what I'm going to do, because I don't know the key of this song. Um, pitch center is used to adjust the, uh, the location of the entire note. Um, so this whole section here, um, it'll change that location. And then pitch drift changes the deviation within that note, so the line there. So you can see um, they move when you move pitch center, and then the line becomes straighter when you move pitch drift. So let's just put everything on 100% and see how that sounds. Sounds a little better, but um, let's check the tuner to be sure. Much better. I'll check those shorter notes too. I probably won't have to do um, anything different on these because they're not uh, super intricate or anything. So let's see what we can do. Okay, that's good. Now let's look and see if we can tighten up some of the more intricate parts with the quantization. Okay, this little fill here. Let's see if we can make that a little bit tighter. Transfer on. And now it's in here. So I'm going to select the whole thing, but I might need to do some fine-tuning. This note here is supposed to be one note, but it's separated, so I'm going to use the note separation tool to make it one again. I'm 
Let's get rid of this here. There. So now let's see what we can do with the macro tools. Start with the pitch. And quantization. You don't want to go too too intense on the quantization because then it can uh, make it sound unnatural. So let's see if we can find where it sounds good. Seventy two sounds pretty good to me, um, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, now let's check out some of the chorus where we might have to edit um, different notes separately. So let's select the whole thing. Uh, and do some pitch correction. The low notes in particular uh, were really off. See how that sounds? Those low notes uh, definitely sound better. Now let's see if we can quantize it. So overall, we're sounding much better. Uh, I might go back and fine tune some of the individual notes, but um, we're definitely seeing an improvement. And I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful and please like and subscribe. Thank you.